Hi, I'm Monette Rosco, and you're watching Gymnastic Victoria DD TV. We're here at the 2013 Victorian Championship, where we have four days of jam-packed entertainment from the men's, women's, rhythmic and trampoline events. We start tonight with the men's and women's finals, backed by popular demand, Gym Talk with Jaden Poole from the men's competition. On Coach's Corner, Greg Costilia discusses his club's progress, then gets involved with the crowd, and if that's not enough, we have all the highlights of your favourite athletes. So stay tuned, sit down, and get involved with Gymnastics Victoria DV TV. We're here at the State Netball and Hockey Centre in Melbourne watching the Victorian Gymnastics Championships. We have the men's and women's finals and tonight we are starting off with the men's finals. We're here with Declan Stacey. Hi Manette, it's great to be here. Declan is a gymnast at the High Performance Centre and has been involved in gymnastics for 11 years. That's right Manette, and we have some great performances here tonight. First up we've got Michael Messia from New South Wales Institute of Sport on the parallel bars. And he's from New South Wales, but is competing in the Victorian Championships because what Gymnastics Australia is doing at the moment is trying to get the gymnasts to have a little bit more involvement around Australia and compete at each other's state championships. That's right. So all the national squad members, including Michael here, um, have been funded to do that. So that's... so that they get to you know, go, go, go to all the other states and that's what Wadsey and um, all the other boys got to do with the, with the other states. It's yeah. great that they can have a little bit more experience and here we've just seen a really nice routine from Michael. Yeah, I'm sure Michael will be pretty happy with that. I mean, he did have a few errors just like there. He just slightly sat on the parallel bars as he went to press it up. But apart from that, not a bad routine. He actually has a very difficult start score as well. And here we have Luke Wadsworth on the parallel bars. Quite a large separation in his legs right there. And just then that was his new skill that he performed, so he should be very happy with that. Now Luke Wadsworth is a very, very competitive gymnast. He really trains hard and he's actually represented Australia at two different world championships, being the youngest team member performing. So some nice skills here. And Luke actually came first as the residential winner on bars and Michael came second. There we have his four, sky high front one and three quarter um, on the parallel bars. And here we have Luke Wadsworth on vault. Now he's actually hurt his ankle. So he normally does a two and a half twist there, but just a double twist today. So he's a little bit disappointed with that. And here we have Michael Messier once again. He actually also has an ankle injury. So he just does a full twist in vault. A little bit low and he's, he's happy with that, I'm sure. And once again, Luke Wadsworth, the two-time World Championship team member, he really does enjoy this apparatus. He's a very light gymnast and he's also quite strong. And right now you can see him displaying his strength elements a little bit high on that inverted cross, but he's quite a good swinger on rings. And there we have the homnet across, very nicely done. Again, he is, like you said, a small gymnast, so this is a really good apparatus for him. And as you can see, he's got really great form competing well and finishes off with the dismount unfortunately didn't quite pull that through and here is Kent Peterse of Victorian Men's High Performance Centre as well Kent is fa Kent's favourite apparatus is the floor but he also does like the rings you can see he's very strong there's the Yamawaki into the Jonathan right into a hominet across so and this routine has actually put him in first place so he would be very, very happy with that. He's represented Australia at some junior events and his first year as a senior gymnast. So to come first on this apparatus for him is a very big feat. That's exactly Finishes right. Finishes it off very, very well. Very nice this one. You can see Kent has a little bit of struggles with his handstand position, but he does finish his dismount very well. He's known for his good dismount and you can see with the clap of the hands, he's very happy with that ring dismount. He's an excited young guy. Here we have Kent Peterson on floor as well, representing Victorian Mag High Performance Centre. Now, floor is one of his favourite apparatus. You can just see there the Arabian double pike. That is a world-class skill. 
So he should be very, very happy with that. Now it's full twist into another full twist. Normally he does double twist right there. Um, I think the boys have had a little bit of troubles with the floor at this competition. Now, the, the, the lack of bounce in the floor has really been troubling them, but that was a quite a nice pass right there. Two you and a half. You can definitely see that he has a lot of power on this apparatus and so much control, especially in the handstands there. And he's really an, a delight to watch on this routine because he has the power, he has the technique, and he has the difficulty, and he really pulls it all off. And that's right. And now showing the back row double twist, a little bit of a step on the landing, and the buzzer has just rang, so he needs to get a move on. He's only got 10 more seconds to complete that dismount. And here we go, Arabian double front, a little bit short on the Arabian double front, and unfortunately sits it down. It's such a good routine. That's right. Here we have Michael Messia. Now, as I said before, he does have an ankle injury, so he is doing a little bit of a watered-down routine but he's trying to go for the execution score rather than the difficulty score, which is what Kent went for. Now here we have a Japanese press to hands there. Very nicely done. Michael is known for his very clean form. So you, you won't see very many errors in his routine, but maybe not as high difficulty, especially on this apparatus with his ankle injury. He performs really well on this apparatus and he actually meddled on this apparatus as well. That's right, Manette. And here we have a replay of his 1080 Russian on the floor. Quite nice line he does. He's, he really does have quite a nice line. And that's showing some of his expedi pommel. And here is dismount. He was a little bit short on his dismount. You watch his head. He throws his head out a little bit too much. And he goes a little bit to the side. But he does save it very well. And that's the most important thing. Moving on to the pommel horse now, and Michael Messier of New South Wales will show that this is one of his best events. Scissor to handstand, a little bit of strength on the scissor, but quite a good scissor to handstand. Stockley out. Michael has quite nice lines. And um, you can see that we've got the head coach actually filming his routine, and he's scouting at the moment. You know, he's always watching the gymnasts, at every single competition they do, it's a year-long process to try and make a national team. And John Curtin, the head coach, is filming him. I think he'll be pretty happy with this routine, Declan. Yeah, look, I think he will be too. He's definitely getting through the routine so far. He definitely has some nice form. Oh. But unfortunately, I think he lost a little bit of gas towards the end of the routine. You know, he, um, it does get very tiring doing this apparatus. But he jumps back up and finishes his E dismount, which is... Quite a difficult dismount, and I'm sure John and himself won't be too disappointed with that routine. Another replay of that dismount, showing a little bit of strength rather than swing. You can get, you can incur a little bit of a deduction doing that, but I'm sure Michael will be rather happy with that routine. And here we have Tim Jang from Victorian Men's High Performance Centre. Now, Tim generally can stay on this apparatus very well. He knows how to stay on the pommel, unlike others but he does tend to lose his form a little bit, and you can see that. Up next on Gymnastics Victoria, we have more highlights from the men's competition. I catch up with Coach's Corner with Greg Corsilia, and Jaden Bull speaks to us on Gym Talk before his final.